Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today is Monday, December the 8th, and we only have about 12 selling days left this year. So to get ready for a great finish, we hear from three amazing sales experts. First, America's number one presentation coach, Patricia Fripp. She will share how we can use stories to become more persuasive. Second, we hear from Emmy award-winning TV star Jan Fox. Jan will share great ideas with us that will dramatically improve your chances for actually getting on television. Third, we'll visit with sales guru Alice Hyman, who will share a fantastic networking tip. So to get started, we go to San Francisco and speak with Patricia Fripp. Hi, Gerhard. Hi, Patricia. Could you share with us how salespeople can use stories to improve their presentation? Yes, stories are a most wonderful technique to use in all presentations and certainly sales presentations. Have you noticed so many of our prospects are programmed and trained to resist a sales presentation? However, nobody can resist a good story well told. For a sales professional, the best story to master would be a satisfied client story. And if you take the clients that are on your website that you use as reference in your marketing materials, you might want to call them up and say, I never get tired of telling my friends about how we fill in the blank. You were so happy, would you mind telling me in your own words, how would you have articulated your problem before we worked together? And then how would you talk about our training, our technology, now that you've been working with it for six months? What we are doing is following a certain formula of our stories. We need to include flesh and blood characters our audience can relate to. So the story you tell will have the same problem as the story that, as, as the situation they are in. You want to use the problem, the challenge in the client's words and the success in the client's words. So situation, solution, success. And you shrink all the conversations down to make it a story. You can sum up perhaps two months of conversations too. When I first spoke to Gerhardt, he said, help, I only hire sophisticated salespeople. We assumed they knew how to tell the company message until we heard them. That is delivering the, di that is delivering the dialogue not reporting on the dialogue. Reporting on the dialogue is, when I first met Garhead, he told me he had a problem with hiring experienced pre presenters and, and sales executives, however, they didn't know how to tell the company story. See, it's much more dramatic when you use dialogue. So remember, situation, solution, success. Populate your stories with flesh and blood characters that your prospects and clients can relate to. Talk to you soon. Now we go to Jan Fox in Washington, D.C. Hi, Jan. I do not want to sound like your mother, but don't bother sending an email to a TV station. Don't bother calling on the phone and leaving a message for an all-too-busy producer. And don't send one of those fancy press kits. Do you know where the books out of those press kits go? In a box under the producer's desk, and she gives them to us for Christmas presents. Instead, send something in a bag, basket, or box that has something directly to do with your topic at hand. For example, I talk about golf on television. Every chance I get, I made a hole in one, I had to tell everybody. So don't you know that a charity sent me this beautiful bouquet of golf cookies? And it even says, thank you, Jan, for emceeing their event before I even knew what it was. Sure enough, time, date, everything in here. Now, I have my choice between 20 emails that I have to drag through or going to the basket of cookies and saying, right there, that's what I'm gonna do on Saturday night. That's the way into a studio or in the way to get on television. Bag, basket, box, bag, basket, box. You know what happens when this comes in? Everybody in the newsroom stands up, walks over and says, oh, I want one. Gets attention. 
Thank you, Jan. Now we are going to go to Reno, Nevada to visit with sales guru Alice Hyman. Alice, can you share with us what salespeople can do to improve their networking skills? Thanks, Gerhard. I want to share a networking success story with everyone today. I just got back from meeting with one of my clients. She's the CEO of a small baked goods company. And we had determined that she needed to get out and network more in order to grow her business. We decided where she should go, and that wasn't a problem. But she's a little bit shy and not comfortable in big groups. So what I told her to do was call ahead to the organization and either talk to the president or the membership chair and ask someone to meet her at the registration desk and take her around to meet the other members. Well, she did it and it worked. When she got there, they were thrilled to meet her. They took her around to meet the others and she got to meet several people who can really help her grow her business. It's exciting when people use the tips that you share with them. And so to all of you out there who need to get out and network, don't make it hard for yourself. Make it easier by calling ahead and getting someone to meet you and introduce you to the group. Back to you, Gerhard. Thank you, Alice. And here's what's coming up in Selling Power. In January, we featured a first ever column, a monthly column with Bill McDermott. He is the CEO of SAP, and you probably know his story. Uh, he was a Xerox salesman. He worked his way to the top. He's a fantastic a uh, motivator, an inspirational person, a great friend, and he has a lot of amazing selling skills and sales lessons to share with us. By the way, he is also the author of that fantastic book that I recommend that you get for Christmas. Um, it's called Win a Stream. It's a great read, very inspirational. It's also available on CD. So subscribe to Selling Power, support Selling Power TV, by subscribing to Selling Power Magazine online, you get 12 issues a year, and every issue is filled with selling skills, great sales management articles, great inspirational stories. So it's a monthly self and sales improvement service that will help you win in 2015.